What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mark. Mark and B with Eclipse Lawn Care. Yeah, I don't have my truck with me, guys. I'm still in my wife's car. Today, uh, no worky worky because I don't got my trucky trucky. But I'm making my way downtown, homebound. Gonna pick up my fishing rods. I'm gonna meet up a couple of buddies and uh, see if we can catch some bass like like i mentioned no work got rain yesterday lots of rain rain that we definitely needed here in the beautiful city of dallas texas and uh the grounds are just way too soggy but not only that i don't got my truck and truck so i ain't gonna work and work it because it's soggy soggy on a good note though Little John over at Triple Seven Performance in Arlington texted me a few minutes ago. He was like, we may get your truck up and ready and running later on this afternoon. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, guys. I mean, I had to do some stuff at the on the computer. I was over at Panera Bread, munching on some bagel on everything bagel drinking my little coffee and whatnot and a uh, buddy of mine been texting me kind of throwing it in my face look what I caught look what I caught catching all this bass and whatnot so I'm gonna have to go up there show them how Mark B catches in fish largemouth we're actually gonna <laughs> hit up a bank fishing tournament in Fort Worth in October. I think it's on the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll definitely uh, keep you guys posted on that. But for now, let me keep my eyes on the road so I don't wreck your recce. Like I said, I'm making my way downtown. Homebound. Do -do 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 -do. Alright guys, well, that's Stay tuned, fellas. Stay tuned. Hopefully, I get my truck later. Let's see uh, if we can catch some bass. Look what came in the mail. We got a Toro Recycler. Now, you guys are probably wondering why do I have a Toro Recycling or Recycler mower in my well, that's because we're going to give this mower away to a veteran. Now I'll uh, explain that situation uh, here in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's put this in inside the, uh, the apartment. Wow, got here pretty quick. All right, we're gonna go ahead uh, and throw in this Rig right here, it's a Texas rig, watermelon red. Let's check out uh, where I'm gonna chunk this at. All right, supposedly the buddy here said that there's a lot of bass. We're about to find out. Let's see, let's see guys. I'm doing I'm just kind of dragging it on the bottom see if we get any nibbles any bites any hits okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch baits I'm gonna use now a uh, top water popper never had the uh, pleasure I guess to uh, catch fish using top water so hopefully we'll catch something guys I don't have my cameraman my cameraman had a had a bounce so uh, we're gonna go ahead and bounce this puppy up in here and let's see uh, if we could produce any bass guys with the Texas rig the soft plastic I was getting some bites but I had my drag on too light which I wasn't able to set the hook my bad but we're gonna go ahead and uh, try this popper let's see if we produce something got to get something let's get something all right been out here for a minute I haven't had any luck but my boy cameraman right here Got a nice little bash right there, guys. The spotted. Yeah. 
using uh, just worms, right? There you go, just worm. Neon red worm. There you go, man. Just... There it is, booyah. Or right. just let her loose. She's gone. It's the next day. We didn't have any luck catching my truck back. And we didn't have any luck catching any largemouth bass. Now, my buddy, camera guy that was helping me out yesterday, he did catch some bass, but they're little, little bitty, tiny, weenie bass. But I guess it's better than anything, right? So I'm gonna try to see if I can catch any bass today, but at a different spot. I'm gonna go over to Garland. There's a little spot that I always pass through. Hopefully that'll be the spot to catch at least one bass. All right, well, this is the fishing hole that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fish off the bank from. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, let me see what I got here. Definitely gonna be a Texas rig, but we're using, I think this is a green pumpkin, seven inch worm right here, guys, that we're gonna use. And it does have that little curly curly on the at the tail right there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw that in. We should get some action with this worm right here. I was using this at the small little pond we were using, uh, or I was at earlier yesterday, and I did get some nibbles on it, but I didn't get a bite. I think they were just small, small fish in there, but I think this one's gonna be, I've caught some big bass here, guys. Three pounder, four pounder bass here, easy. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this phone down. Sorry, I can't film it i don't think i can i don't think yeah my phone ain't gonna prop up but if i do catch something i'll put it on video guys stay tuned all right been here for a couple of minutes few minutes and i already got my line snag on top of that tree up there Let's see if i can pull it down yeah i don't think i'm gonna be able to I'm just gonna have to cut it all right well at least i got my slip weight right here definitely save that okay that'll work i'm gonna try uh some top water uh lures and uh see if we get any any hits with that there it is it's all done let's give it a shot all right went back to the car to get my my coffee and I just noticed there's some signs here. It says no fishing between the arrows. So there's another sign over there. So I guess we were illegally fishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head out. I'm gonna try to find another spot. Didn't have any luck here. Tried some top water. Then of course I used some, uh, just the plastic worms, man. And no luck there, but uh, I'm glad the city didn't come out and give me a fine. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Let's go to another spot. I think there might be another spot across the street. Let's try it out. Let's check it out. Stay tuned. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Well, we didn't catch any bass, no bites, no hits whatsoever. Man, it's a shame because usually I, I mean, I, I take these large mouth, mouth bass out of the, out of the lake one by one by one i mean i don't know this season is just not my season i guess right but so i figured i'd come come back home and try to put this toro self-propelled mower together now we're going to give this mower away to a veteran in fort worth okay so there's this nonprofit organization called mowers for vets they're dedicated to try to give as many mowers brand new mowers to vets across uh, across the country, guys. So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. If y'all guys want any more information on that, go to mowersforvets.com. Jeff will uh, definitely hook you up if you wanna become a mower soldier. And a mower soldier is just somebody that goes and delivers a mower to a veteran, okay? So of course, there's an application fee for uh, potential uh, veterans that could receive these are potential candidates 
uh, to receive a free mower like this, guys. And all of this is uh, on profit, so go check that out. But I think what we're gonna go ahead and do, guys, because I'm still waiting on my truck, so I got to get my mind my mind off of that. I'm over here stressing out over about my truck because I I need it, so I go to work, right? So I was fishing, of course. That was that didn't work, so I figured I'd come home and put this together. We'll have it gassed up tomorrow, and we're either gonna take it tomorrow or Sunday. But stay tuned, guys. I'll definitely hit that video up, upload it, and. You guys can see that so I guess let's go ahead and try to open this up and see if we can't put it together it is all put together it's pretty easy pretty much uh, everything already came assembled the wheels the only thing we had to do was just put on the uh, the handle bar system whatever you want to call it tighten it up and it's ready to rock and roll guys so this is the Toro recycler 22 inch cut it is a mulching mower which means it should have mulching blades underneath Yep. So it has the mulching blades underneath, meaning you don't have to bag it. So this would definitely be good, uh, especially if you're trying to mulch leaves in, in, in the fall season or spring season. This is perfect. And it does come with the uh, manual, which we're definitely going to give that to them. And then if you do want a bag, it does have a rear chute which you bag the bagging system connects to the back you know what let me go ahead and pop that on and you guys can see so that's the way it looks with the grass catcher like i said you could either catch the grass if you want or you could take the bag off and mulch your grass which will i mean either way whatever your preference is is awesome so there it is that is the toro recycler 22 we're definitely gonna have fun and I can't wait to go out there and uh, deliver it to a veteran so y'all guys stay tuned with that tomorrow of course I'm gonna fill I'll fit it fill it up with fuel put the uh, oil that it came with which is a uh, 30 weight and it's gonna be ready to rock and roll guys so let's do it guys thank you for watching Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that notification bell button. That way, anytime, every time I post a video, you guys will have a little notification on your phone. Click on it, you can watch. And uh, like I said, guys, if you guys are, if y'all like my videos, I'll let me know in the comments or give it a like. If y'all don't like my videos, uh, give it a like. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. Anyways, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean this up before my wife gets here, cause uh, she's not gonna like. But I know you guys are gonna like the video when we go out and deliver. So stay tuned with that, and I'll keep you. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the truck, guys. Hopefully, the guys over at Triple Seven Performance will be able to get it running, get it on the dyno today, so I could go pick it up this afternoon. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.